Hey everyone, it's Kenji, uh, and we're making ranch dressing. So, ranch dressing, you know, the stuff that comes in the little cup. Ranch dressing is one of those things that I didn't really grow up with, but I know a lot of people in this country did, especially if, you, if you're from the Midwest, you probably grew up dipping your pizza into ranch dressing. Even out here in California, they dip their pizza into ranch dressing, which I find very strange as a, as a New Yorker, as a, you know, as an East Coast guy. But, um, I do like ranch dressing, um, especially when it's good. The stuff that comes in the little dippy containers with, from the pizza place usually is not very good. Um, but if you make it fresh, it can be. This, this recipe is similar to the one that we make at my restaurant. Um, we serve it on a number of dishes, including my, we serve it with my Korean fried, we, what we do is sort of mash up between Nashville style um, and Korean fried chicken with a hot chili oil and, and, a, and a yogurt ranch for dipping it into, and we also have a sandwich. Um, and we also put this on our chopped salad, which is a kale and marinated chickpeas, a bunch of other vegetables. Um, not exactly the same as we do there, but pretty similar. So a lot of fresh dill. Um, the flavors in, in ranch are mainly dill, garlic, dill, garlic, and black pepper. That's what you're, um, those are the real three key flavors there. Um, traditionally ranch is made with buttermilk, um, usually but a mix of buttermilk and mayo, but today I'm going to use a mix of, um, mostly yogurt, mostly Greek yogurt and a little bit of mayo. Um, so that's dill there, a couple tablespoons chopped, finely minced, you know, and then this is a, about a tablespoon of minced chives. You don't have to be exact with any of these, um, measurements, by the way. Unless you work for me and you're at my restaurant, in which case you have to measure everything by weight because we like things to be consistent. Um, here's that <clears throat> yogurt. I'm going to put in about, it's about a half cup or so. And then mayo. Probably about a quarter cup of mayo. Okay. And then a lot of black pepper. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some real garlic. Here's a clove of real garlic. Or the, I, should, I should say fresh garlic, not real garlic. It's all, everything we're doing, we're using is real. We're not living in the matrix. I was just listening to a good, um, or w watching a good YouTube episode analysis of um, the philosophy in the matrix by um, a channel called Renegade Cut, which I find uh, to be good. It's one of the smarter movie analysis channels. I'll link to it. But anyhow, we are not living in the simulation. At least I don't think we are. Um, and all our garlic is real, even the, even the dried dehydrated stuff. So this is fresh garlic, a clove of it. You can use a you can use a microplane. You can use a garlic press. It doesn't really matter. Um, now this is granulated garlic, and this is the key. I think that I've made you know I've made ranch a number of different ways, and I've tested it a number of different ways. I find that either granulated or powdered garlic, um, and granulated or powdered onion, are the real keys to this to this thing because powdered onion or gra granulated onion and garlic they don't taste like fresh onion or garlic um but that doesn't mean they taste bad they just kind of taste different you know they're kind of their own thing um now here we go uh lime i'm using a lime just because i don't have a lemon you could use a lemon um typically you would use a lemon here so a lime's worth of juice um oh people have asked me if this is the right way to put the lemon into the um or the lime into the press and it is you put the cut side face down so that when you squeeze it, it turns it kind of inside out and pushes it out of the holes and it also expresses some of the oils from the, you know, it, it, the oils are in the skin and those are aromatic and when you push down like this, they kind of go psh, 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 and they squirt out the sides um, and get into your bowl. So you end up with a lot more flavor and more juice when you, when you do it like that, which is the right way. All right, last secret ingredient um, to make it truly ranch. This is a little bit of, um, oh, I think as, as uh, Andrew Ray is binging with Babish calls it, um, or maybe or maybe it's the Chinese cooking demystified, uh, concentrated sea kelp extract, um, AKA MSG. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, um, but it is like 
when you taste ranch from a bottle, um, you know, like Hidden Valley Ranch, that, you know, that flavor, that sort of flavor that gets your saliva going, that thing that makes it really delicious, that is MSG for sure. Um, Hidden Valley Ranch, by the way, Hidden Valley is where ranch was invented. Um, the Hidden Valley Ranch is like the authentic ranch dressing. Okay, and basically that is it. I'm just going to give it a taste. Um, actually, I know it's, I know it's going to need a little salt because we haven't put any salt in it yet. So let's start with a little bit of salt. Hidden Valley Ranch. It's the same. I think it's the same ranch where Huevos Rancheros come from. Or maybe that's um, Valle Oscura, El Rancho Valle Oscura. Yep, that tastes like ranch to me. So this, um, actually, I could use a little bit more, a little more yogurt. Um, ranch is one of those dressings that, when you first make it, it's going to have a little bit of grittiness to it, um, and also the flavor is going to not sort of be fully developed. So you do want to, if you're going to serve this. Um, you do want to make it ahead um, and let it sit at least a few hours, but preferably kind of overnight in the fridge because what happens is that granulated garlic and granula granulated onion is going to um, rehydrate. Uh, and uh, that's what's going to make it, make the texture better and make the flavor better. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this in a jar. I'm also going to double dip my spoon just to annoy you people. You know what else I'm going to put in here? Doesn't always need it, but ranch can always use a little bit of heat. Uh, this is Piment d'Espelette. This is a uh, Spanish chili pepper. Spanish? French? Maybe it's French. Mm -hmm, France. France. French chili pepper. Let's taste it now with uh, with vegetables, not with pizza. Mm. Ranch really is good, huh? Good stuff. Oh. What's going on there? All right, so I'm gonna put this into a jar. Most of it, save it for tomorrow. The rest of it, I will probably keep out and give to my wife and daughter with these snap peas here. Alright, I'll say goodbye because my dogs are freaking out. Alright, bye bye everyone. See you next time.